To the southeast of France, where four children and two adults have been injured in a knife attack. It happened in the Alpine town of Annecy on Thursday morning. Police have arrested the suspected attacker, a Syrian national with refugee status. They say the children involved were just toddlers, all aged between 22 months and three years of age. Two of them and one adult are in a life-threatening condition. French President Emmanuel Macron has called the attack an act of absolute cowardice. Earlier, I spoke to Paris-based journalist Vivian Bolt and asked her to give us an update on the investigation. Well, the latest we just heard from the French Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne um, just a little while ago, um, saying that as far as anybody can tell, this was not um, motivated by terrorism. And that was very, very important, I think, a message to send to the country because, of course, France has been the target of um, a lot of terror attacks in recent years, and particularly knife attacks. Um, so as far as we know, the motivation still remains a mystery. The knife attacker, the suspected knife attacker, um, was is a 31-year-old man. He's now in custody. He's a Syrian refugee, has asylum in Sweden but appears to have moved to France in recent months and, in fact, had applied to essentially transfer his refugee status to France that was denied because, of course, under the EU rules, he has free travel within the 27 EU countries, um, but uh, he effectively has status in Sweden. And remarkably, the early reports are that he, in fact, is the father to a small child himself. Also uh, in that age bracket, I believe. Um, do we know uh, then what the motive could be behind the attack if it's not terrorism? At the moment, it's really an open question whether he has some kind of mental issue. There was really very little indication about what the motive might be. There was one witness that said that he shouted in the name of Jesus Christ when um, he was launching his attack. Um, and he carried with him a Christian prayer book. We're not quite sure what that means, but effectively a Christian prayer book and has um, a cross around his neck. He um, gained asylum in uh, Sweden as a Christian Syrian um, at a time, if you remember, at the start of the Syrian war, where there was an in, a number of people leaving Syria for Europe. Um, and he was among one of the early waves of refugees. Mm -hmm. Vivian Walt uh, from Paris with the latest there on that knife attack in Nancy.